Welcome to part four of the fossil preparation series of Alice the Triceratops Skull. Today, I'm going to be working on the snout. This encompasses the rostral area, otherwise known as the beak, the nasal region, which has the premaxillary fossa, as well as the nasal strut, and the maxilla. You could think of the maxilla as the upper part of the mouth. I'll start by using the Dremel brush and touching up the rostrum. This loose piece will be secured with Paleobond adhesive. This area where the rostrum connects to the brow horn is extremely important because it's really vital for the structural stability of the entire skull and especially the snout. This acetone loosens up the sediment, and I'm going to start exposing the nasal strut. I have to expose some bone right here that leads all the way into the nasal strut. This area below the nasal strut and the predominant fossa is this flat plane that I have to expose. Other preparators like to use compressed air as well as I do. I use compressors to blow away sediment as well. But sometimes I like using a straw because I'm able to control the amount of air. And sometimes I need a very slight amount of air to move away some sediment and not blow away the bone. The Dremel brush is a great tool because the bristles are made out of plastic and they don't damage the bone, they only clean off the sediment. The first part of this process is to remove all of the sediment off the bone, all the thick sediment, literally the piles of dirt that are on top of the bone. And then I go in with the microblaster to remove the detailed dirt off of the bone to really touch it up. All right, we have the premaxillary fossa and the nasal strut exposed. I'm going to start working on the flattened plane, or essentially the flat part of the beak, and the maxilla.
I'll use this micro clipper tool to remove the roots sticking out. All right, the rostral area, the beak, the snout, the nasals are looking a lot more cleaned up and this will allow me to secure with more structural adhesive and epoxy putty. If you like watching our dinosaur fossil preparation videos, please feel free to subscribe for more dinosaur content on the way.